Hello scientists, I will be showing you how to draw laminin in this video. Turn on the grid. Okay, I will also activate this function called snap to grid. So when I am making new anchor points, they will be snapped to uh, exactly these intersections across the grids. Okay, I'll zoom in. And we will need to create that spiral thing, right? And okay, so first draw a diagonal line and then grab your direct selection tool and then click on convert selected anchor points to smooth. And then also this anchor point. Then manipulate this anchor point handle so it is one grid long. Now uh, make this, uh, make the stroke thicker then make it a round cap. Then I'll make a copy of this and then come here to the reflect tool, double click on it and select uh, to reflect it vertically. This will be the unit for your squibbly line. I'll make a straight line that goes right across the center. I will give it uh, like a red color so we can see it better. I'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, this was a little bit too long. Let me delete these uh, few helix. We can start to construct uh, those circles. So let's grab our ellipse tool and then just draw a circle. And we need three of them. And then we need two on this side. And another two on these sides. We need one more over here. And there are some other proteins over here that we can work on them later. Okay. And I will create a straight line, straight horizontal line over here. And it should have the same thickness as the squiggly line. Okay. And as you see, there, there are actually two squiggly line in this um, in this structure so I'll make a copy of it and I will give it another color so we can distinguish them like that and um, this one let's I'll move it to the top then the horizontal line that connects to these have like a straight line over here and another one over here that's the end of the squiggly line let me change the color of this one i'll grab my pen tool add an anchor point right at the center of this unit then I will remove this anchor point. So like it here and then here and connect them. So I'll do the same to this line. All right, now we need to do the same thing here. At the top, move this one over here. Double click. Center. Good. And the same thing here. Uh, select these two anchor points and then drag on the round corner widget. So you can round it. All right. Now uh, select all the green lines and then 
Let's go to path. Outline stroke. Then they become objects. And then here, let's go to Pathfinder to unite them. So you do the same thing to the black line and then the central red line. Expand. And we're only expanding the stroke. And then select the three color lines. Come to the Pathfinder tool to click on Divide. And now you see these uh, stars in between. What we need to do now is to arrange the uh, the interwining position of these two squiggly lines. Come here, ungroup everything, and then for these three objects, let's grab the green uh, the green color. So now you see the green line goes to front, it's wrong. Okay, select these two black triangles and then pick on the red color. So now you see the uh, black line goes to the back, okay? And then again, these two red, and you get to send it to the back. And then we need to send These two to the back and green to the front. Also these two. Now, I'll select uh, one of the green object and then I'll come to select same fill color. Uh, and then I click on Unite. So now you see all those uh, small puzzle pieces are all united. And we'll do the same thing to the black line. And then the red. Come here to grab a blue. That's a fill. And then we need an outline. 0.5 outline and I'll use a dark gray outline. Okay, that's the central one. And then I want to group this. And these two, we also need to unite them. And I will select all the black, uh, the black line. I was, uh, let me go, come to select, same and the same fill color. So we have uh, all the black lines selected. Now it's also fill in a blue for its fill, but we will need a lighter one. So I'm here, uh, I come to the color guide to pick a lighter blue. The radio gradient in these circle structures, so they will look like spheres. So let's grab one of the circles here. I'll give it a radio gradient. That's good. And then let's change the uh, the black color to white. And then I'll decrease the opacity to zero percent. Then you will get the highlight. If you put it in a darker color, then you will see it clearer. Let's transform some of these circles. But before we do that, we will need to turn off this function called snap to grid. So now we can move it around freely. Okay, and uh, let's pick a color and I will give it... Um, like a emerald color. We also need a gradient in it. This time everything is 100% and then emerald color in here. 
than the outline. Dark gray outline. You can connect one here, connect them like this. And that is our laminate. This is part of my Twitch live stream. I live stream every Sunday, so come and hang out with me on Twitch. And uh, you can comment below the topics you want to see, then I'll put it up in the vote in the community tab. Thanks for the scientists who commented this topic and uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And I'll see you in the next video.